Hello folks, welcome to the Diamond Series, and like last time, you can see we have a Lord of Fear Aspen. Now, to get this guy Tree of Origin improved, we need to go beat Void Campaign, and we've got some fun stuff to do now that Aspen is on the account, and we know what we're doing. We need to go ahead and change things around to be optimal for Aspen, so we've got a list of heroes to build today as well. No point going ahead and building heroes until we've got Void Campaign, because we can start getting our Glory Challenge rewards as well, which is going to be really nice. One thing we need to do to get to this next tier on the Glory Challenge as well is build an E5 hero in the Forest faction. That might need to happen, or the Fortress faction. Either works. So that's something we need to keep in mind. So eyes are all on Rogan, I think, as he's going to be our Forest hero to do. Uh, so that'll be fun. We can go ahead and build him, then probably regress him and then build him again. It's probably going to be a bit strange, but we have to do what we have to do to get the glory challenge in. Fortunately, we do have a lovely total of 85 soul symbols, so it's not going to be impossible. We've got a ton of stellar shards, load of resources to play with, so today I'm feeling quite excited. Step one, I think, for all of this is actually to do none of what I've just said and go straight to the Gate of the Void to try and get ourselves another copy of Rogan. We've got 16 cores here to do, and Mockman's just chilling there as well, because getting copies of Mockman would be quite nice. He is needed as a tenant. Um, and there you go, there's a sphere that we get. No Rogans, no Mockmen, that's a shame. What else can we pull? Dark Spirit, that's nice. Dark food is always welcomed. What else can we grab? Another Dark Spirit, nice. <laughs> Come on, Rogan, show up, yeah. <laughs> like my dad never did <laughs> cry, that's not true. My dad was the only one who did show up, to be honest. He went to all the stuff I did at school. He was pretty cool. Mainly because he was the designated driver. But hey-ho, there you go. We're all in. Happy days. Let's go ahead and be sad we didn't get a Rogan, but be glad we did get some nice stuff there, including a Sphere. So I'm going to go and open this for Stellar Shards. Means we have even more Stellar Shards on the account. And now we need to go fight campaign. We need to get this beaten. We are way behind in where we can achieve in campaign, mainly because I've been really lazy with campaign. So let's go ahead and blast this out. I'm going to build a really, really nice team for this. First of all, we need artifacts, though. So let's get some demon bells and receptors ready to absolutely destroy this. First step is to go to the glorious temple. I want to buy one receptor. I already have one, so that takes me to two. And then we're going to go ahead and buy ourselves a demon bell, as demon bell is a very important artifact to have for early accounts. Energy feed is pretty good. On top of that, guys, we're going to go ahead and look at the bag. I got myself a bunch more chests. We're going to pull demon bells from all of these, which is going to take me to eight demon bells in total. And with my two receptors, that's a glittery as well. So let's go ahead and grab demon bells. Three, as long with demon bells. Four, that's a lot of demon bells. And I have no artifact chests. So let's go to campaign. Let's start this. And I'm pretty sure this team is going to absolutely shred this to pieces. So here we go, folks. Let's see what happens. Good luck, team. In fact, can I build up this Rogan just now? Can I get Rogan higher before we start? Oh, yeah. Look at those five stars. Let's level up this Rogan. Let's build this guy. Promotion stones. No. I've only got 4,000. Oh, that, that is heartbreaking. Right, in that case, we're just going to do campaign. Oh, five-star Rogan, let's go. Oh, this is so stupid. So, folks, uh, we've been pushing in campaign quite a lot. Uh, we've managed to get ourselves to 65.9. This is a mim wave. We've tried a lot of things to beat it. Lord of Fear Aspen needs a bit more attack. We've put him in a home, as you can see. Something I was loath to do, but I kind of had to to get the damage up. And we need to now swap Ithaqua to an Onkirimaru to be a better tenant for him. So as you know, we already have one in Kirimaru. Uh, we managed to get him as a B-, and every other one we got rid of during the gala. So I need to go and get some more copies. A little bit annoying, but that's the way it goes. Uh, so we need to open eight out of chests, which is probably going to upset some of you. It's definitely going to upset me, but um, it's the only way forwards, unfortunately. So... Let's go get them in. So that's going to be one on Kirimaru there. And then we need two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is, this is going to be painful. Oh, well. All right. And that is seven copies of on Kirimaru added to the account. Very nice. So what does that do for me now? It puts me on eight copies. Do I have any elite shards before we get started? Uh, no, I'm pretty sure I pulled them all. All right. I'm going to have to go to an imminent chest then, which is never ideal, but this one's not that good. I think what's the light and dark hero in there? Oh, it's no one exciting. Doesn't even have Vulcan or Arania in it. Yeah, boring. Snooze. Let's go find ourselves. Uh, wait, what the heck? He's not even in it? 
Wait, how old is this chest? Onkiramaru's not even in the chest. What the heck? When was this released? No, right, let's just go and open this chest. It's gonna be ages until I need a bunch of Elena's anyway. It'll be fine. It's just a little upsetting. So, Onkiramaru, out you come. Pull that in. Wow. So sad they don't update that uh, glory chest you get from from the game. That's a shame. But there you go. All right, let's swap this Ithaqua. Let's get her out of here. We need to unlock the bee first. There we go. And now let's go and convert this Ithaqua. And it should be pretty easy. There you go. All nine copies in. Confirm. And we should get ourselves a B- minus on Kiramaru. Yep. Let's go ahead and give him some warrior gear. Let's give him an attack attack stone. Let's give him any artifact that improves attack. So we can just go with Echo of Death, or we can go with this Golden Crown, for example. So let's go make him a tenant for Lord of Fear Aspen. That will improve his stats a tiny weeny bit. We can level up this home as well. Take this all the way, as far as it can go. That's going to be more attack for Lord of Fear Aspen. It will make a difference. He gains now a pretty, pretty sizable amount, actually. On Kiramaru is giving pretty much double that of carry and, uh, and Drake, simply because he's got a good awakening. Really, really nice. Um, so let's go ahead and throw this one down. Maybe we win now. Let's see if we beat this. So we do a lot of damage to that Mim early. That's good. Good carry. Dodging a little bit there. Still going to die. Oh, and there you go. Big damage from the Aspen. But no, Mim still lives in slot six, which means we are getting absolutely dunced on. Not good. Oh, that was huge from Aspen there on that Mim. Massive damage. Let's try one again. Come on, boy. Woo! Nearly getting the kill. Come on, whatever's happening there, we need that to kill that Mim in slot six. If that Mim can die, GG. Let's make Carrie and Drake as high attack as we possibly can. So, yeah, let's go. We're going to go... I'm going to go attack on them. I know that... We switched to HP when we were doing some testing, but I want attack just so that Lord of Fear Aspen has more attack. Oh boy. Okay. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, he's getting there. You are getting there slowly, Lord of Fear Aspen. Okay, at this point then, on Kiramaru with an energy artifact's the way to go. So we're gonna remove the crown. I'm gonna put this on carry. Oh wait, no, we need an energy artifact on carry. I'll put it on Drake. I don't think it matters if Drake gets an active skill or not. Or maybe we go Crown Waldeck. Actually, no, Waldeck's active skill is huge. So, yeah. I'll just put the Demon Bell on on Kiramaru, and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Please. And 3 and one split on on Kiramaru could be a good shout. Oh, it could be, yeah. For extra attack. Ooh, actually doing decent damage to slot 6 Mim there. That's what we like to see. Oh, Bro, nearly. The problem is the Resurrect. They're guaranteed to respawn. I don't think we can kill them. Oh, there it is again. Big damage and then the Sleepless and Michelle's just Resurrect. It's like we did nothing. I'm going to try put some imprints on Onkiramaru to see if this makes any difference whatsoever. So he is a good tenant, so he's going to give good stats. So we're going to level this boy up. And we're going to get ourselves a 10 star from the bag as well so that we can make him... A higher level. So we go with Void 1. Go and throw that in. So the puppet's going to be food. There we are. Upgrade. And just keep going. So we get a few more stats in here. As a stronger tenant. Okay, with that done. Let's go see how it plays out now. Don't know if it's going to be a win. Let's find out. Oh, nearly. Imprint carries attack could be the final piece of the puzzle. Potentially, if we're not taking her further. Oh, no, we haven't. Right, let's put imprints more into carry then. Just throw that up. And let's go throw again another fight. Here we go. Come on. This is going to give us more attack on the Aspen again. 
More HP on the carry too, which is nice. Oh, we killed the Mim! Huge! Huge! Oh, come on, Aspen. Just one active, please. Oh, it's dead! It's freaking dead! Let's go! Woo! Okay, plane sailing now, guys. Let's send it. Let's send it home. Go! Beat these stupid Taras. Get it all dead. Oh. There it is. There it is, friends. Lovely, lovely damage. Next fight. Here we go. We're in chapter 66 now. Ten more fights. And we get this. We might need to move Lord of Fear Aspen around. That might need to happen. Just to focus the lowest HPs. But we should be okay against most of this. There we go. Great damage. Double killing those Unimaxes there. Awesome. Next fight. Let's do this. More axes. Both getting energy stolen. Absolutely perfect. Watch out for the stun from the Cruise. But other than that, we should be fine. Oh! Okay! Just delete Lord of Fear Aspen from existence. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's totally okay. Yep, yeah, that's what I wanted. Right, we're going to move things around then. Just to here and here. Hopefully that makes a difference. There we go. Oh, the stun. Wakey, wakey, Lord of Fair Aspen. And there it is. Big damage. Cruz might catch us again with a stun, but it's not going to matter. We get the win because we're control immune. Here we go. Next fight. It's going to be Asmodel's. Good thing Lord of Fear Aspen's on the back line here. This is fantastic. Already hitting Ada with big damage. One more active, and we got this one cleaned up. Oh, we didn't crit. That's fine. It happens. Uh, yeah, we need to get the crit. But apart from that, should be a win. Heck, Carrie might even clutch this. Unlikely, though. So we just got to fight that one as it stands again. That's 66-3. Here we go. Cruz is undeniably the best hero. He's, he's quite good, yeah. Didn't get that overkill damage from the Lord of Fear Aspen there. That's unfortunate. Aspen there with the active hitting Asmodel. That's not cool. That's kind of uneventful. Yeah, I'm going to move Lord of Fear Aspen into slot four here. Let's try again. Yeah, we're getting wrecked by the Taurus. I'm going to try on Bending Will real quick. So let's switch that in. Oh, we have Shared Fate on. Even bolder. Okay. Let's... Let's try those two switches then. Forgot we had Shared Fate on. Right, here we go. Why not use presets? Because uh, they don't really make much difference on this level of an account. We don't have any flags, so not really a point. And then we kind of have changed the account so much that there are no presets on the account right now that would actually give us what we want. And there it is. Perfect. Nice clear. Okay, 664. Let's go. What are we fighting now? Oh, this is easy. Uh, we just need to focus the Amon Rara in slot 5 and then we win. Might just win anyway. Ooh, okay. So yep, yeah, switch across. Should be a W. Oh yeah, wow, look at that damage. Beautiful that time. Here we go. And a little bit of healing there on the Dark Arthenals. Kind of terrifying. They're going to hit so hard. Wow. Okay, we need to horrify them and never let that happen again. Yikes. Yeah, just keep energy stealing them, please. Dark Arthenals so scary. Right, there it is. Nice. Okay, we got 665 now. Almost a Mim Wave. Don't like that. Okay, this is Faithblade Drake. Ammo for this should be fine. This is gonna play right into what we want. Yep. Ooh, the active from Drake though that was unpleasant. Oh, carry? No. Okay, that was that was good. That was good. That felt winnable. Just probably should be focusing Drake slot one because he's got the lowest HP. But other than that, there's no real need to switch anything up. That that said though, that was. That was fine. We just minced him. 
literally just matters where the Drake active lands because it's random. Whereas all of the things target lowest HP. All right, here we go. Mim. Yuck. So we either focus Mim to death with the same style of lineup, uh, which actually I think is our win here. Oh boy. Okay, this is different. This is really different. Oh, there we go. That's big damage there. Nice. That's what should happen to the Mim. And now he's lowest HP, so he's going to get debuffed by Drake. There's the damage. Much better. So now we need to kill the second Mim. So that's Aspen's job right now. Oh, and there it is. No more Mim waves. But I might still die anyway. Yep. For some reason, Emily is a tank. I didn't know that. That's news to me. Wow. Slot one, Emily. Probably built with, like, I don't know, Barrier of Destiny or whatever it's called. Oh, Mim didn't trigger. That was that was uneventful. Oh, sorry. Uh, Aspen's passive to kill the Mim didn't trigger, to be technically correct. Oh, Aspen. This is embarrassing. Oh, and then the Onki had to come back, didn't he? <laughs> of course. Maybe go slot one. Oh, then we're just going to proc the Emilys. No way. We need to kill the Mim. That's one less Mim that we're going to get hurt by. Like, all that damage we're taking is from a single Mim. Imagine if there were two of them. Like, it's it's the death of one Mim, which therefore he doesn't trigger, which is causing the other Mim to then do tons of damage to us. So if there were two of them, it'd be twice as terrible. So yeah, we can't even risk it. And then if we're hitting Emily, she's then going to buff the Mims because she's dropped below 50% HP, so she's going to give him more attack. So it's even worse. <gasps> oh! Poop. Oh, I didn't kill. Didn't get the overflow. It's a shame. Right, maybe we could still live, though. Everyone's still alive. So this is exciting. Order for Aspen's got another active. <gasps> yes! Come on! I don't know how we did that, but we did. That's a win. I, I, I don't know. I don't understand. It was really strange, but no one died. Dodges were fantastic. So, do we just win now? That's it. That's that's GG. Oh, it's Taurus. Okay, let's not get too overexcited. This could be a disaster. Uh, right, slot one is where we're going to focus our attention. They're all the same, so it doesn't matter. Yikes. Mark Purify. Oh, we need Control Purify against these guys. This is not a mark they do, it's a CC. If anything, we need a bending will. Jesus. Oh. These guys are literally built different. So, I am going to... I'm not going to put crowd control purifying because I don't think they're going to be able to trigger it against us. We have to kill them before they get their actives. Uh, question from Wise saying, uh, Hey MK, I recently got back to Idle Heroes. You built homes as a first E5 already. Who should be your second E5? Uh, well, it's, I'm just going to say... Probably Eloise. I mean, she's really good, so. I mean, that's a boring answer, though. You've gone with Holmes, though, so what do you want? Like, whoever you can build that's going to be good for Holmes Young, so. I mean, what kind of route do you want to take and you spend money? Like, your path might be really different. Oh, there it is! Nice! Nice, 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 nice. That was beautiful. That was really strong. Right, here we go. A few more. Let me get this. Oh, Asmodel, this is going to be rough. Although we did kill one of the Asmodels, although we're likely just to straight up die. Yeah, we need to... <sighs> yeah, backline. Backline in it. This is going to be tough. This is going to be a really hard fight. You don't know who would be best with Holmes. Uh, I guess with Holmes Jung, you've got a few options. Like, you can just build his tenants. If you really want it to be first E5. Or just for the most consistent winning. Like ticks and carry are always good. Ticks and carry are definitely always good. Defense downs on slot one. It is your boy. It is. But 
Asmodel's also basic attack slot 1. So we need slot 1 to tank for us. So that we can do what you just saw right there. Oh, the actives. That's really unfortunate. We might still win if we get lucky, but... No. But we need to bonk this twice. We just need the carry and the drake to dodge. Because one swipe on Aspen, if it triggers a crit mark, he's dead. Just like that. There you go. So we need the front line to tank for us. <laughs> Hear me out. You do mark purifying all heroes? The issue is we attack them before they attack us. So we're already hitting them. So we're already getting ourselves marked. <gasps> but it might not matter! Yes! Oh, what a W. Let's go. Okay. Two waves left. 669 and 6610. Come on. Oh, Russell, you're not a problem. This is easy. This is super easy. You guys said this was going to be hard. What do you mean 669 was going to be hard? This is easy. Dead. Paper towels. Look at it. Destroyed instantly. First time at 6610. Come on. Is this it? Is this the win that we've been waiting for? Oh, easy. Absolutely easy. Totally easy. Bye-bye. Just got to kill that Russell before he kills us, but it's not going to matter because Carry and Onki will tank for us. And we just got two carries to deal with. They're going to get feared, and they're going to do nothing. Bye-bye. And we did it. Congrats, folks. We have beaten the whole of campaign. We can go to the map. Void campaign is unlocked, which means we can start the glory challenge. So let's claim some rewards in here. We get 5,000 treasure trade stuff. We get our glory rewards as well, I assume, from something or I, I don't know. It's probably a glitch. Right, let's go to treasure trade first. Let's get this stuff in. So we're going to open these up. Let's see. We can get ourselves uh, nothing exciting. Let's go with the next one. Here we go. Boom. Nothing exciting. Come on. I want to get an actual item from this. That would be fantastic. Considering we've never spent any money on this at all. Here we go. But oh no. Just more jigsaw pieces. And finally, guys, please, please be something. Hey, we got a thing. I don't know if it's any good, but we got it. Oh, let's select all and quick ascend. We have the refined steel dagger. I assume that's useful. It's uh, it's used in the Forgotten Artifacts. Oh, so it's going to be... Oh, it's skill damage for Realm's Gate. Oh, that's great. 25% skill damage for Realm's Gate. Cool. That's uh, that's a pretty solid item. Um, yeah, it's, that's not the worst. Next up, we need to go and do our glory challenge. So let's go ahead and remove this Lord of Fear Aspen from his home real quick. So sorry, buddy. Just need all your imprints. There we are. And let's go ahead and switcheroo. So we need to destroy his imprints. So get these gone. It's going to cost us 500. Right, let's uh, remove the imprints from Carry, and let's remove the imprints from Onkiramaru. And then we're absolutely great. There you go. So let's use 11 million Stellar Shards. That's quite a lot uh, to upgrade these heroes. So we go with our first one, the one we're absolutely regressing, and that's Delacium. So let's take him up, and we're going to build him as high as we can in the Tree of Origin so that we can get ourselves some Glory Challenge rewards. See you in a second. There you go! We have Cap 3 broken by Mr. Delacium over here, which is going to be some rewards in the Glory Challenge. So let's claim that. That's 200,000. I need to do the same for Light and Dark and Fortress and Forest. So we're going to go undo this Delacium now. Simply go ahead, take him out of Interdimensional Arena. That's going to be step one. So let's pull him out. And we also need to go ahead and choose someone else to be a victim of destruction. Probably... Waldeck? Yeah. Or carry. I'm not sure yet. You know what? I'll just take everyone out and we'll have some ugly looking teams that just have Annabelles in. And I'll fix that later. So, we'll pull all that out. And now let's go ahead and destroy Delacium. So, say bye to Delacium, guys. He served us well. He was good fun. Boom! Everything comes back. All the materials are back in our account. Lovely, lovely. Claim all our rewards. Nice. Okay, now it's time to take this Rogan higher, I think. We'll build him up and we'll actually make him Tree of Origin just to destroy him again, which seems a bit of a waste. But I think that's still the best play. Oh, but it's only a... Oh, I'm going to have to use my chests. 
I am going to have to use my chests. I'm going to have no chests left. That's mad. Imagine having no chests left on an account. I have never been in that situation before. Yep, I'm just going to use my chests. Oh, I've only got two? Bro, I don't even have enough chests. The guild? Even if he's available in the guild store, it wouldn't be worth it. Yeah, it's... Oh! oh I have so much guild solidus. It's so much better to buy orange exclusive artifacts. He's in the altar shop. That's much better. Yes. Let's get him from the altar. Yes. Yes, I agree. Oh, thank goodness you remembered that because I forgot he was in the altar. He is in the altar. Yeah. Bang. There you go. That's a copy. Way more intelligent decision making process right there. Good. Really, really good. Thank goodness. Right. We'll just go with that then. So that's one more copy. So we'll pull that out, summon him, and then we'll go take this upper level. So, Rogan, here we go. He's going to become E2. And we get ourselves E3. Let's claim some rewards whilst we're here. Glory Challenge is going to give us a bunch. So we get ourselves an Anosuke copy. Very nice. And then we can keep going if we get ourselves two more Rogans. Which, you know what? Sure, I'll just get them from the guild store. It's only one artifact this way, so we'll grab it. And then we'll go to here as well. Grab this. And then I am now going to just refresh. And get ourselves Rogan. And whilst we're here, I'll also get ourselves more artifact stuff. There we go. Cool. That's actually going to help us with Almost Workshop because we were really low. So that's actually going to be great for making progress in Almost Workshop. Oh, we got so many actual artifacts as well just from doing campaign. Brilliant. Okay. In that case, we got so much progress to make today. Let's get back to building Rogan. Let's pull these boys out. So now we've got an E4 Rogan, and now let's make him E5. And that is pretty darn good. So of course, guys, we're now going to go ahead and void for him. We're going to throw him into the Tree of Origin, make him Tree of Origin 3. There we go, guys. We have broken cap 3 on this Rogan. So now we can get rid of Rogan. There we go. So convert, regress. Rogan is dead. Bye bye. Okay, perfect. So at this point, we've done two of our factions. The other one left to do is light and dark. Could build a light hero. Don't really have anyone, though, that could do light seal land. So we're going to build a dark hero and then unbuild a dark hero. Carry, I need to get an attack attack stone on anyway. So this ain't going to matter so much. Same with Drake, actually. I need to go and get an attack attack stone on him. I've already got HP and speed attack, though, which are both kind of nice. Doesn't really matter, though with the drake versus the carry i i don't mind i think we'll just do drake because he's here so we'll just go ahead and imprint drake all the way up and then of course we'll undo him and that will be all of our factions completed all right that's tree of origin level one tree of origin level two and then of course tree of origin level three is all that's left and we can go ahead and get our glory challenge rewards so it's good to see that the diamond series finally done this a lot of people, that's kind of like the gateway to mid-game. Whenever you reach mid-game, it's, it's when you can do the glory challenge switch. At least that's how I would define it. And um, yeah, we've gone ahead and done it. Made a ton of progress. Still a few E5s we need to build. Still a lot of seal lands left to clear, but it's not an issue. And yeah, just destroy this Drake. Rebuild the Aspen. Get some sublimation on that bad boy. And we are done. But first, I can't regress this Drake because of my bag space. So I need to go and Ted star my Rogan, don't I? <sighs> right, let's build him up. Come on. There you go, Rogan. It's all puppets, right? Of course it is. Leveled up. Fantastic. <laughs> Claim all our rewards. And then we'll go ahead and hopefully regress Drake now. Come on. Work with me. Not against me. Convert. Regress. There we go. With that done, we'll claim our rewards in here. We'll rebuild Drake. So... Let's go back to the creation circle, get our boy back in at 10 star, 
And we'll build Drake back up to E5 because we will need him as a tenant for Lord of Fear Aspen anyway. All right, so for this Drake, we're going to give him Assassin gear. We also need to level up Rogan as well. So whilst we're here in the forest faction, we might as well give Rogan a decent stone. So let's upgrade this and quick upgrade to Celestial 6. If we get HP, HP, that's great. Attack, attack. That's cute, but it's not what we want. Just looking for HP, HP here or anything protective for the Rogan. Uh, attack, attack, precision is bad. And uh, okay, crit precision is also bad. So they're all terrible. All right, we'll come back to that in a second. Let's go make sure Drake stones nice. So uh, hello, Drakey boy. Upgrade. Quick upgrade Soulstone 1. Let's go. It's going to be block HP. That's not really worth it, buddy. Let's try again. Attack, attack. Oh, it's great. Although I still kind of want to go for Soulstone 3 anyway. So uh, yeah, I still got to upgrade this. Oh, speed HP. That's perfect. So I'll get him a backup stone. And if we can get attack, attack on that backup stone, we are sorted. We get speed crit. Uh, I think speed HP is better specifically for Drake. Just because we want him to stay alive. Speed attack's also nice. So we'll take that. Hmm. I think I prefer speed HP though, because Drake's survivability is really important. We're just getting speed. It just knows Drake likes speed. That's really funny. I really just want attack. Just attack, attack. We had it on a Soul Stone 2. Why can't we get it on a Soul Stone 3? Please don't waste my game. <laughs> attack HP. Yeah, we'll go with attack HP. There you go. I'll make that the settlement. That's fine. It's it's only an assassin. He doesn't give incredible bonuses. But that's fine. So we'll make sure he's got himself a demon bell. Ooh, actually, we can finish those demon bells. Oh, yes, we can because of the stuff we got for the blacksmith. Almost workshop, artifact, disassemble, break these down. Beautiful. Echoes of death. You know what? We'll leave a couple of them, but we'll put this in the bin. We'll put that in the bin. Well, that's gone. This is gone. Oh, look at all the trash. Throwing it away. But it's going to be so perfect. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And um, yeah, I couldn't ask for a better thing. I'll be honest with you, chat. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, we'll get rid of three Echo of Deaths. Disassemble. All dead. All gone. Perfect. Now, let's make some artifacts in the forge! So we'll make ourselves a splendid demon bell. Pop that in, put that there, bish bash bosh. There's three splendid artifacts we have now. And we might as well build up our fan, or our crown. One of the two, doesn't really matter which. Uh, probably the crown is better, just as a standard upgrade. And we'll go back to the Guild of Purple fan at some point. Either way, we are looking fantastic for artifacts right now. Can't complain about that. So Lord of Fear Aspen, we'll put a melodic strings on him. Do I even need Receptor at this point? Probably not. Ah well, it'll have its use. Right, let's slap one of these demon bells onto the Drake. Let's level him up to level 3, 4, 5. Let's make sure that Aspen gets the few levels extra he can, but we need to Tree of Origin him first to do that, so let's go send him into the Tree of Origin. I think we might be able to get a little bit further out of this, but we need to imprint him first. I think we can get ourselves Tree of Origin 5 on the Aspen, which is going to be insane. Can we get level 5? I think we have enough. Oh! Stellar Shards! Oh no! That's a disaster! Wow! I am 50,000 Stellar Shards short. Tell me there's a chest that can fix this problem. Oh, good, 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 good. And this is technically bad because I have no Stellar Shards outside of Lord of Fear Aspen, but you know what? He's Tree of Origin 5. I don't care. <laughs> He's a big boy. Look how strong he is. Look at him. Oh, and no residual Stellar whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, it's such chaos. I love it. Now I can level up Aspen as well. Oh, this is going to get expensive. Oh, oh no. Holy spirit. That's terrible. No spirit left. Oh, screw it. I'll buy 500 million. That hurt. That really hurt. But at least we can get these last levels out. And now I'm poor again. 
Oh, wow. Now, this Rogan is going to sit here as an absolute liability. Oh, I can get to 234. That's not even bad. Yo, can we finish him as well? Let's find out. We'll buy some more spirit. I'm really poor now. And there it is. Yep. That's 250. We've got a team. We have a team. So let's go make this Lord of Fear Aspen a homeowner. Let's give him his tenants. And somehow, as if by magic, we have gone from absolute noob material with a wall deck and all that rubbish to something that's remotely viable. A Lord of Fear Aspen with how much attack? 1.25 million. That's not bad, and that's before we've even given his tenants the stuff they need. So let's make sure they're equipped properly. We're going to make sure we've got something that gives a nice amount of attack on here. Let's go with... I mean, it doesn't really matter. Could go Echo with Death. That's fine. Waldeck, we'll make sure you're equipped properly. Got to make sure we got that Ranger gear off of Carry, actually, because we have a little split here. It's going to split the stats nicely. Carry can get an energy artifact. There she goes. Drake's got one, too. He's looking good. Waldeck, we'll put in that split. Give him the crown. And then we can either go with Onkiramaru as an actual hero on the team, or we just go with Rogan. It's not going to matter which. Rogan's actually pretty fun, though. And then Ignis, of course, we'll just put in with an energy artifact. And that is going to be our team. So we got the formation, the six-man lineup. Let's go ahead and adjust the team. So we got a deployment. And we set our little team up. So we're going to have Aspen, Ignis. We got Carrie. We got Drake. We got Waldeck. We got Rogan. And we're going to do a lot of damage. Save. Save it all. Waldeck, we can actually give stuff to. Make sure he's got a crown. Everyone else is looking good. Rogan going to need that artifact in. So, oh, wait, it's giving them weird artifacts. Like, really weird artifacts. Ugh. Okay. I assume it's gone with what they were wearing in the preset before. So we should be able to fix this pretty quick. So make sure we take this off. Go ahead and give the split to the wall deck. Go back to the carry. Auto equip her there. Make sure she's wearing a demon bell. And as if by magic, guys, I think the account's looking good. Do you want to go put some of this to the test then? Shouldn't Ignis be in this first slot? No, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. She still energy feeds in slot two. Just means she has a slightly better chance of survival, so we could even get three rounds of actives. And let's put some sublimations on him. You're absolutely right, chat. Let's put some sublimations on this Lord of Fear Aspen. We'll just go with a couple of active skills. Just, just going to go with the active skill. We're going to play that safe. Just two of them. Here we go. That's all we need. Nothing else. Just the active. Not going to waste my time with passives or anything like that. Unless you want me to do the whole thing, full active. And then two into passive two and passive three. Whoa, just for the extra HP and attack. That's actually not a terrible idea. Because I'm going to get more sublimation chests in the future. And I could even put one blob in the basic if I really wanted to, but I think that's a bit wasted at this point. But we'll go ahead and upgrade the other stuff. So here we go. Let's get that up two levels. So we get added HP and attack. I'm going to do the same with this one. Added HP and attack. Woohoo! How big's this boy now? 1.36 million. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. The final, final, final thing we do today is we send Lord of Fear Aspen into his home. The Aspen Dungeon. The place from whence he broke free. It is time for him to take it down. We have ourselves a Glittery Brew Scepter, giving him better crowd control. He's now at 1.25 million attack. He should breeze through this. He's currently wearing control precision and crit damage reduction. You're going to see an absolute monstrous hero. We'll put in others just for the funsies, but it's all going to be Aspen. 
So here we go, folks, with seven demon potions. Let's see how he does. Bang! Dead. Not even a fight. Here we go. Next one. It's Cthulhu. Smack. Dead. Easy win. We got ourselves two seers. Smack. Dead. Easy win. Valkyrie Oberon. This is a scary one, but we have an active. And he kills the whole thing in a single active skill. Solo Vessa, we know we can beat. Seers, we know we can beat. Asmodels, easy. Not even a threat. We've got an active skill ready. It's Ada Amon Ra. They should die to one shot. Bang. Easy peasy. Seer, dead. Whoa, look at that wave. They're all gonna die. Ta-da. That's two eaters. Not a problem. This guy just doesn't care. <laughs> oh, too easy. We've beaten it before. We can beat it again. Dark Arthendol. Dead. Valkyrie on her own. Not even a fight. We've got an active skill. Instant killed. Cthulhu Flame Strike. It's your funeral. Oh, promotion stones. Let's go. Grew. Easy win. Oh, Sigmund. He can be a problem, but on his own. No issue. Aspen with Amon Ra. Easy win. Penny on her own. Or with a friend, sorry. Kill them both. Nice and easy. We've got Gru Valkyrie, but we have an active skill. So this should be a one shot. It absolutely is. Double Dark Arth and Ult. Should one tap that? We absolutely do. Valkyrie on our own again. This should be one shot, giving us full energy. Oh no, we had to do two there. Starlight? What? <laughs> Since when was she a wave? <laughs> Not even a fight. Okay, bye bye. Valkyrie again. Bonk. Dead. Uh oh. It's double Valkyrie, double Oberon again, but we still have an active skill here. And it just cleans up. Ridiculous. Again, double Valkyrie, double Oberon. We'll put a demon potion on. And we kill the whole thing. Beautiful. Corpse demon. Can we one-shot this guy? Holy moly! 48 million damage against the corpse demon. So big. Bring it on. Ah, four overruns? That's what a demon potion's for. Let's go! Get wrecked. Bring on the next one. Oh, it's Amon Ra? Oh, with Asmodel? Okay, I'm demon potion in this. Not risking it. Not risking it. Either way. Smack boom. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's 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 pennies. But I'll kill the pennies, right? Don't risk it. Smack boom. Dead. What's the kid selling? Boring. Oh no, it's another demon potion wave. Stop it! Okay, we're still we're still alright. We got two demon potions left. Alright, there we go. Adoram and Raw. We can basic into this. There you go. Double Asmodel again, we basic. They get feared. Oh no, they just die, okay. And I I think this is fine. I swear. Yeah. It's still okay. We might not even need to be demon potioning the waves we're demon potioning. It's just that we've never tried without it. Because he locks the whole wave down. We have an active skill here against the Oberons. That's good. It's jokes, though. They don't even live. They cannot put up a fight. Must be exciting for me. 
Hey, look, I've been running Waldeck on this account forever. Lord of Fear Aspen is so refreshingly better. Because <laughs> that Waldeck was trash, man. It's just funny, right? I know he's bustedly strong compared to everything we're fighting. Smack! Boom! Dead. Here we go, guys. Ten fights left. Oh, there it is. Come on, Cthulhu. Bang. I'll check what he was selling later. Four Aiders. Go on, just for the funsies. I won't use a demon potion. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He doesn't care. We're going, boys. Let's go home. We've got ourselves double Ada with an active skill. They're dead. Vessa Oberon. That's not even an Oberon. It's enormous. It's even worse. Valentino Oberon. Number 99. It's Asmodel's. And here we go, folks. Death 100 is Ada Amon Ra. Smack. And it is indeed done. We can enter in to the Purgatory. There it is, folks. Let's buy probably none of this stuff. Let's, uh, let's, yeah, let's actually have a look at what we need. So, uh, yeah, I'll get the wishing coins. That's, uh, that's totally fine. And, um, everything else there's not worth grabbing. Let's scroll you down. Any promotion stones or things like that? There we go. There's some. That's good. Some more promotion stones, arena tickets, wishing coins, arena tickets. Uh, that's spirit. I can get that from the marketplace, no problem. More promotion stones. More wishing coins. More promotion stones. Promotion stones. Promotion stones. Arena tickets. And that is all pretty good. Claiming it all in. And there we go. That's a lot of promotion stones. Well done, Lord of Fear Aspen. You done made me proud, buddy. You have absolutely slain and done wonderful things. Very wonderful things. So, yeah. Very pleased, guys. If you want to catch more from this Lord of Fear Aspen account and see how we do, things are looking like they're going to get very exciting. It, we've pivoted really nicely into this. It wasn't a nightmare. Thanks to the Glory Challenge, you make some good switches. And the account's looking pretty clean. So, uh, yeah, can't wait to get ourselves another Transcendence Hero. That's going to take some time. But we've got stuff to look forward to. We've got Tower of Oblivion. We've got Broken Spaces. We've got Gate of the Void to go ahead and see how we do in there. So loads of different things to go ahead and do. So hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you next time for the Diamond Series. Because things just got a little bit interesting. I know the Diamond Series was getting a bit tiresome. You know, we were getting pretty much repetitive events. Weren't really getting much. But thankfully, all the stuff we saved up. All that sublimation. All those artifacts. It has all popped. All the chests. Everything. And we are ready to have a very good time. I'll see you next time, folks. Happy idling.